When I think about the Clay Studio, I think um, community and artist. There are so many numerous ways to interact with the Clay Studio. You have exchange students, you have international students. It incorporates a lot of other things that we didn't when we were just getting started. The resident artists, which is great. There's a school, there's a shop, a space for exhibitions. There is a claymobile that goes to inner city schools and introduces the children to working in clay. It's probably the only arts program they have in some of these schools. When I say pottery saved my life, I think more about the fact that it gave me an opportunity to do something other than what the world gave me in terms of opportunity. It gave me an opportunity to create my own path. Anytime you can take a moment in your life to slow down and experience something new, maybe that's a challenge for you. I think it sort of shuts our brains off to what's going on in the rest of the world and you're sort of really in the moment. We realized that if the Clay Studio wanted to grow, we would have to move out of the building we were in. And, and currently the building is sort of two buildings cobbled together in very various ways that are, make a lot of inefficiencies and there's a lot of hallways because you're building, you know, trying to force two buildings together into one building. For many years we functioned out of these two row homes in, in Old City and now we're building a purpose-built building that was designed you know, to be a studio, to be a gallery, to be a gift shop. And we settled upon South Kensington. There's already a, a burgeoning artist and maker community there. And the neighborhood is very residential. And the idea of being in an urban center is that like in the summer, they have a summer camp where the kids spend the day making clay and doing activities that anybody can come here. So being an urban place with mass transit nearby, lots of different kinds of people can make clay. I think people are tremendously benefited by, um, you know, organizations that move into, into neighborhoods and become uh, a real part of the social fabric of that community. And I can definitely see that happening with the Clay Studio. I think there will be such a great opportunity to really deeply and authentically connect uh, with the, the neighborhood and the residents. It supports artists um, from the moment that they first touch clay to the moment that they're still in the mid or late career stages of, of what it is that they do. In Philadelphia, it's the place for taking classes, going to see ceramic exhibitions. It's the place. You know, the Clay Studio was built from five people that were students all at Moore College and came together and needed a shared studio space. And since then, it's really just sort of organically grown um, from this inward-facing organization of artist needs to this outward-facing organization of what does the community need and how can we better serve that community. So, you know, the community built the Clay Studio over the years and I think that's what it's going to take to build the new Clay Studio. All of us coming together um, as a community and donating and giving stretch gifts and um, being a part of history.